Hi, I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and welcome to my channel. I'm the crafter from Down Under and today I want to share with you how I made these gorgeous full large velvet pumpkins and I arranged them in a beautiful dough bowl. So to get started you're going to need some uh, transparent paper, you're going to need some uh, floral wire, some brown textures, a range of different papers. I had these papers in my craft room, so it was pretty easy for me, but you can pick them up in any stationery store. You'll need some pliers, some scissors, and some hot glue. So for my first DIY, I'd like to share with you how I made these beautiful full greenery stems. Now I don't, I can't get access to any full florals or full uh, greenery, so I decided to make them. So using some floral wire, and again you can pick these floral wires in a really um, sort of a very lightweight uh, heaviness. You can pick them up from any craft store or discount store. I just cut down three floral wire stems and I started to twist them together to create branches of a tree. What I was trying to create was some of that beautiful orange or deep full colours um, uh, leaves as if they were changing colour with the onset of fall, these nice brown rustic uh, leaves and I just created the stems using this floral wire. So basically there's no uh, rules around this, you just twist the wire onto itself to create those stems, just make sure that you, may, you create different size um, branches to your little um, floral greenery so that um, it creates more dimension and texture into your design. Next, to create the leaves, I just simply used a pen and I turned over my um, beautiful rustic coloured sheet. Uh, I was really happy because I found this sheet in my craft room from my old uh, card making days and it was quite lightweight, the, the paper. So the lighter weight that you can find your paper, the more realistic your leaves are going to be. And I just simply created a, a, leaf, a leaf design and, uh, and then I used my brown coloured uh, texture uh, to create the veins of the leaf and I did this multiple times. Uh, I also wanted to edge each leaf so I just used the side of my texture to give it a bit of an edging but if you've got a stamp pad or a little bit of paint that works as well and I just uh, created a border around each leaf to try and make it look as realistic as possible and then using some hot glue I had a, a glue gun that was had a very fine nozzle so I used the fine tipped um, glue gun put a little bit of glue at the edge of the floral wire and started to glue down my leaves and I did this for every branch that I had in this little um, greenery arrangement and then I also repeated the leaves about halfway down each branch so it looked like a greenery stem and it turned out really really good. I was very pleased with the um, kind of a lightweight feel to it because my idea was that I wanted to create a spray sort of like a, a full leaf spray into my display which I'll show you at the end of this video um, and I thought it turned out really well you didn't need much glue at all if you've got a fine tipped glue gun it's a better result but if you've got a normal glue gun or you can even use a craft glue stick if you don't have hot glue um, and just pop it on there onto that floral wire and it looked really, really good.
And using this lovely textured paper that I also had in my craft room, I decided to create a single stem spray and simply again, just uh, traced out a shape that I um, freehanded on, on top of the uh, colored paper. This paper is a little bit more vibrant in orange, but it's got little gold and silver specks through it. So I, th I, think, um, I think it's handmade paper. Again, I've had it for a very long time. I do love to collect different types of papers. And I cut out lots and lots of these single leaves and I decided to make three single uh, stemmed sprays. And again, using the same process as we just did for the multi-branched spray, I just glued each leaf on side by side, rotating left and right so that it looked like um, a really um, dense type of uh, floral stem or greenery stem but it's full coloured greenery stem so that I could also use that to add dimension to my dough bowl display. So for my third DIY, I'd like to share with you how I made these giant velvet, beautiful, plush and gorgeous orange pumpkins. So to, I made two different sizes, a medium size and a large sized uh, velvet pumpkin. I had some leftover Easter eggs, uh, foam eggs that uh, I uh, saved for next year and I thought well this might turn out to be a really great way to create a pumpkin so we can't find or you, it's really difficult to find pumpkins here in Australia at the moment as I said uh, we've already had our fall or autumn we're in fact heading towards the end of our winter so to make a pumpkin I just cut the egg the styrofoam egg in half and then I sliced off the edges of that half and then I started to glue each of those pieces together. I used three Easter eggs to create this medium sized pumpkin and just simply running a line of hot glue in between each and spreading them out a little bit I managed to create a fantastic uh, pumpkin form. And then what I did was I simply cut out a piece of orange velvet that I found in my local craft store and I, using a plate, made a circle, cut it out and then how easy is this? All I did was gathered up the top of the circle and simply inserted it into the hole at the top of the pumpkin. Now you're going to need that hole later on so that you can add the pumpkin stem into the top but look at this no glue required no sewing simply a circle cut out of your favorite velvet material i wanted to create an orange and blue velvet display and it turned out absolutely gorgeous and then using again my um alfoil or tin foil trick i created pumpkin stems uh, for more details around how to create these little pumpkin stems um, I'll put a link to a previous video in the description box below and created the little pumpkin stems some of them are curved some of them just some of them are just uh, turned slightly to the side and simply hot glued them to the center of the pumpkin now this particular pumpkin is my giant oversized pumpkin I did uh, use some needle and thread to pucker up and pleat the top of this particular velvet pumpkin and I used some pillow stuffing so that it's nice and soft and pliable. Again, I created this in more detail in a previous video which I'll put the link in the description box below and I thought they turned out so, so cute, so elegant. You will see it will be absolutely stunning in this display. And so now it's my favorite time uh, and that is to decorate. So I used a dough bowl that I created in a previous project. I'll leave a link to that particular DIY in the description box below. And then using my uh, blue and white florals that I love to create my chinoiserie blue and white uh, home decor with, I simply spread around these beautiful blue um, 
uh, hydrangeas all around the dough bowl and then using some of these gorgeous uh, light yellow sort of rusty colored um, daisies I pop them in to break up the blue color using some of these yellow berries and then spreading out my velvet pumpkins all around the dough bowl I then uh, used some of these gorgeous orange candles to just um, uh, again I wanted to use this in the center of my uh, dining table or coffee table and I love to uh, add candles just for a little bit of extra dimension and color and pops of um, design into the beautiful display and then I just continue to decorate so here I'm adding adding those beautiful rusty colored fall sprays that we created earlier in this video again you can see the whole display start to come to life it's turning out really really gorgeous so if you're liking this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the description box below. Let me know if you'll be recreating this video. Let me know what you like about this video. Um, I love to hear your comments. I love to respond to each and every one of them. If you're new to this channel, a big warm welcome to you. I love to create seasonal decor, home decor, and of course, beautiful tablescapes on this channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by and leaving me those wonderful comments that I love to read. Here's the final display. I thought it turned out so beautiful. I love the blue against the orange. I think the little uh, gold stems uh, turned out absolutely stunning, gave it that little bit of extra elegance. I hope you like this display. I hope you like these DIYs. Really simple decor for you to make when you can't get access to full decor and it turned out just as beautiful and just as elegant. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it with you. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.